following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Thank you very much, and good evening, and uh, welcome to our show. I'd like you to meet our guests right now, ladies and gentlemen, Shirley Booth and Johnny Mathis. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Hi, John. Hi, Hey, that was 
quite an entrance. <laughs> well, you know how hard it is getting a cab around this town. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> and that thing here, right here, is safer than uh, the freeway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shirley, I know that you're uh, very busy with your Hazel series, so I'm especially pleased that uh, you could get away tonight. Oh, I'm also glad to be here. Usually I only get Thursdays and every other Sunday off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we better get going, Johnny. Right. The meter's still running. Right. See you later. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Mathis.
Maria I gotta say that nobody sings Maria like you do. Well, thank you, Andy. Uh, and uh, you sing it so beautifully, but... Uh, and I don't mean but, I mean and. It's such a great song that that song will sell for... Uh, your record will sell for at least 200 years. Yeah. I hope so, you know, but competition is getting so key nowadays. Uh, these new singing groups are really crowding us, don't you think? Oh, you mean like the Beatles? Oh. Yeah, and the Dave Clark Five and the Rolling Stones. And how about that new group called the Animals? I heard the Animals, they sing good. Well, they have to. If they don't, their manager hits them on the nose with a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> Wasn't that weird? Isn't that weird? A weird name for a group, the Animals. Yeah, singing groups used to have such, well, sensible names. Like the Pie Pipers, there was a, the Murray Max, the Modern Airs. A group called the Williams Brothers. Williams Brothers, they were the original animals. <laughs> well, you know, Johnny, it is getting harder and harder. It's really getting rough to make it in records nowadays on your own. You interested in a partner? Or you want to sing? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about uh, Bluzette? Oh, you mean that song that goes... Well, that's close enough. Uh, Dave, you want to go? <laughs> Poor little, sad little blue bluesette. Don't you cry. Don't you fret. You can bet one lucky day you'll waken and your blues will be forsaken. One lucky day. One day
Thank you, John. Thank you very much. And now a word from Tempo Cigarette. Johnny Mathis fan, knows that he's received 12 gold records for top-selling albums, but I'm not sure that uh, all of his fans know that Johnny set quite a few records as an athlete while he uh, attended San Francisco State College. And one of the records uh, was for the high jump, right? Well, it was a record at the time, Andy. I jumped six feet five and a half inches. <whistles> That's pretty high. That's like jumping over Durward Kirby with Alan Funt standing on his shoulder. <laughs> But you look in good shape, John. You really do. No, nah, you know, with the concerts on the road and everything, traveling, it keeps me pretty busy. And actually, I'm, I'm getting pretty soft. Me too. If I didn't have a self-winding watch, I wouldn't get any exercise at all. <laughs> Why don't we just relax and sing an easygoing song and, and not do anything at all? Great. Good idea. Dave? We will gather stars out of the blue. For you, for you, over the highway and over the street, carpets of color, we'll lay at your feet, there's nothing in this world we wouldn't do.
The Andy Williams Show will be back with Andy and his guests, Shirley Booth and Johnny Mathis, right after station identification. second half of the Andy Williams Show is brought to you by... And here again is Andy Williams. And 
Critics have uh, described your voice as uh, exotic, enchanting, uh, unique. Uh, well, that isn't really enough. It's, uh, it's just too much. They should put that in the dictionary, too. How did you uh, uh, develop uh, such an unusual style? Well, it goes back to my childhood, being raised of uh, the Italian family, from an Italian family. I learned about Italian opera singers such as Caruso, Beniamino Gili, Maria Gancuch, and then living in a neighborhood primarily uh, existing of Yiddish people in the Bronx, I used to hear the beautiful sermons by the cantors in the afternoon on Friday, the high masses, mm -hmm. and I was very much influenced by the beautiful wailing. What part of Italy? Sicily. Sicily. Well, how about a nice uh, Sicilian girl singing a Brazilian song in your inimitable uh, Jewish style? <laughs> well, I'd love to do it as long as you join us. All right, if uh, you don't mind a Wall Lake Presbyterian sneaking in there. But... <laughs> join the group. <laughs> Yes. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Randy. Please come back again. I'd love to. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgana King.
That's all the time we have for this uh, particular part of the show. But we'll be right back with Shirley Booth in just a minute. So stick around, don't go away. we all enjoy watching your Hazel series. I mean, everybody at our house watches it, except the, the maid, of course. <laughs> she doesn't watch it. We won't let her. Why not, Andy? Well, you're a bad influence. That's all. <laughs> we let her watch it once, and we had to serve her breakfast in bed for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I spend so much time playing football with the kids, I don't uh, pay much attention to the house. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's a wonder that you don't get fired. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry about that. I got a very good offer from the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> you know, in talking to Shirley this week, I uh, found out some very interesting things, which maybe you don't know. Uh, Shirley's been in more than 30 Broadway shows. Um, Philadelphia Story, just to mention one. Uh, Time of the Cuckoo, My Sister Eileen, and of course, Come Back Little Sheba. <laughs> Things were pretty rough until I became a maid. <laughs> Come to think of it, you've, uh, you've been in a lot of musicals, too. You've done a lot of singing yourself. Uh, you were in the musical um, uh, By the Beautiful Sea. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorites is loaded with music called A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Oh, yes. I love The Tree Grows in Brooklyn. But you see, I don't have very much of a voice, Andy. You what must is... have sort of judged that by the record I sent you. Well, I didn't get a chance to hear it because... Uh, when it got over to me, it was warped. Oh, you should have played it. It's much better that way. <laughs> you know, there's one song in The Tree Grows in Brooklyn that I'm really nutty about, and it's called Love is the Reason. Why don't you do that? Well, all right, but it's a duet, you know. Well, you start it. I'll jump in somewhere along the way. <laughs> The reason you were born. Love was the gleam in Papa's eye. Love was the gleam in Papa's eye. People suddenly meet. People suddenly fit. People suddenly hit. And brother, that's it. Brother, that's it. Personally, love is a kick right in the face. Love is a kick right in the pan. Love is the aspirin you buy. Love is the aspirin you buy. If you're climbing a wall, there must be a reason for it all. Come on, join in, huh? Yeah. Gather around, we'll sing it out. Love is the night you can't recall. Love is the night you can't recall. Love is that extra 
drink you drank. Love is the extra drink you drank. To shock me on. Love to shock me on. The poke in the ring. Love's a poke in the ring. Buying bottles and beers. And filling up cribs. Filling up cribs. Obviously love is an old established trend. Love is an old established trend. Ten million suckers walk the plank. Ten million suckers. I know I was one of them. Sing along with Oh, come on. Hey, there was a song in a show that you did, and I don't remember the name of the show, but it's a great song, and you sang it about an old boyfriend. Oh, oh, a tree grows in Brooklyn. Uh, he had refinement. That's it. Oh, it's a beautiful song. He'd say, pardon my glove politely when he took my hand. <laughs> and he'd pass me the evening paper when his soup was banned. He only used four-letter words I didn't understand. He had refinement. Oh, he never sat down to eat without his shirt was on. Or come out of the bathroom dripping like a dying swan. Or call a visitor a slob until the slob was gone. He had Refinement. One time he said, may I suggest you call a lady's chest a chest instead of a points of interest? <laughs> Baby, ain't he? Oh, he had respect and manners. He was highly bred. I'll take a note. He never wore his hat to bed. He undressed. With all the lights off until we was wet. <laughs> we had refinement, refinement. Oh, a gentleman to his fingernails was he. <laughs> That's a great song. I love the way you sing it. You sing it good. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I know. <laughs> a couple of ways of taking that. But, you know, the critic in Philadelphia didn't think much of my voice. He, he said, did? no, he said, we thought the Liberty Bell was cracked. Oh, uh, he didn't say that, did he? <laughs> Oh, but Johnny, uh, in uh, By the Beautiful... <laughs> But there was a beautiful song in uh, uh, Tree Grows in Brooklyn, and I'd love to hear you sing it. Was it in uh, Tree Grows in Brooklyn? Tree Grows in Brooklyn? No, by the beautiful sea. Yeah, well, you've got me so fussed, just sitting here. <laughs> I know the one you mean. I don't know where I am. Alone to long. I, I'll sing it. Okay. I'd kiss you if I did. I want to, but I'm scared. I should have known I've been alone too long. Come on now. My lips are much too still. My arms have lost their skill. Oh, that ain't cool, you know that. My charm has flown. I've been alone too long. Not anymore, dear. It's been years since I have whispered a foolish love word. <laughs> and I'd sing you a faded song. You've got oh, me you blessing. <laughs> Darling, try again I'll know you've known 
I've been alone to I just think it'd be lovely if you didn't have a maid. Oh, well, that's, that's very nice. You know, there was another beautiful song from um, By the Beautiful Sea. Uh, and it stopped the show every single night. It stopped it cold, and you did it. And it was called the uh, Lottie Gibson number. Oh, well, uh, if you remember, I did a child impersonator. You sang it as a child. In one of the scenes, I did uh, my act. Yeah. And uh, that was it. You're going to do it right now, too. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You haven't seen it. An only child is a lonely child, they say. There's no one round whenever I want to play. <laughs> when Mama sings me her lullaby, she says someday you'll get a big surprise. But she don't know that this is what I pray. <laughs> There's nothing I got I give shit. No bundle of heaven is gonna split with me. Cause we just can't afford to be another. I eat lollipops enough for two.
now work for my son.
Good night, everybody. Tape editor Stan Fleabag. This program was pre recorded. This has been a color presentation of the NBC television.